we are told that Saga about Tinobu and Ariwola, the CGN, meeting in London for meeting has ended. But guess what? We are wrong. We are all wrong because Femi Fanny Kayode still has a lot on his mind to say. He exposed <laughs> a truth that we were not expecting. Before I go into that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Finally busted the identity of a man who used the picture of CJN Ariwola on a wheelchair is unveiled. See his name and picture. Femi Fanny Kayode, the All Progressive Congress Director of Special Media Project, has finally exposed the identity of a man behind the social media circulation of picture of a Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Ulukayo Diariwola, on a wheelchair at a London airport. Days ago, there were reports making the rounds on social media that the CGN had disguised himself on a wheelchair and travelled to London to meet the president-elect, Bola Tinobu. The report claimed their meeting was a perfect plan on how to outsmart the petitions filed by opposition parties in the controversial February 25 election won by Tinobu. The Independent National Electoral Commission had declared the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate the winner having scored the highest vote to defeat Peter Obi of Labour Party and Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party. But reacting to the CGN's picture shared on social media, Femi Fani Kayode revealed that one Sam Amadi is behind the propaganda. He called on Nigeria's secret police department of state services to immediately arrest the accused, investigate and charge him to court for libel, falsehood and incitement. Creatures like one Sam Amadi, who used the CGN's picture in a wheelchair and claimed he was on his way to see the president-elect in the UK for a meeting about the 2023 presidential election, should not only be invited by the DSS and NPF, investigated and charged to court for defamation, criminal falsehood and incitement, but they should also have pictures of their ugly faces printed on toilet paper and used to clean death and used to clean death but holes Femi Fanny Kayode tweeted. Also reacting to the controversial picture of CJN, Festus Kayamo stated the card they are playing with, the fake CJN story is to raise so much dust about the CGN, a bit unfounded and fake, so that when they get to the Supreme Court, they will ask him to excuse himself. They want to play the ethnic card up to the Supreme Court. It is absolutely condemnable. In what Supreme Court insiders claimed was a covert preparation for meeting with President-elect Bola Tinobu, Chief Justice Oluka Yodiariwola was reportedly seen in London claiming to be a physically challenged elderly man. While Mr. Tinobu arrived in London for what his team claimed was a relax relaxing trip following a frantic campaign that preceded his announcement as Nigerian's president-elect last month, the Gazette learned of Mr. Ruwola's activities, but Mr. Tinobu hid his travel to London until Sahara reporters revealed it on Wednesday afternoon, claiming the trip was necessary due to medical emergency. 
According to the publication, Mr. Ariwola flew out of Nigeria on March 11 via Abuja's Namdia Zikiwe International Airport. According to our report, it was wheeled through the terminals to a British Airways flight. Mr. Ariwola 64 was likewise carried into a hotel in the city centre when he arrived in London and has remained there ever since. Yet, as soon as he arrived at the hotel, Mr. Ariwola stopped using his wheelchair and began navigating the space on his own. There are no recognized physically impairments in the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. According to a source familiar with the CJN's action, at the London lodging, he has been wandering around in the hotel without any wheelchair. Just yesterday, he was standing by himself in the lift. Amid CJN's meeting with the President-elect, Justice Tajuddin Kayode Ariwola, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, observed the Jumat prayer on Friday in Abuja, as PA PRNG reported. Contrary to rumors, the CGN did not meet with President-elect Ashiwa Jubula Metinobu last night in the United Kingdom. PR Nigeria received confirmation from a source that Justice Ariwola and other devout Muslims attended today's Friday Jumat congregational prayers at a central mosque. Recall that earlier, the CGN's office denied reports that Ariwola had travelled to London to meet with Tenobo. What do you all think about this? Actually, you know, um, some are of, some people are of the opinion that if Tenobo wanted to travel for, from France to London, that this, the distance is not that much. You know, he could have gone from uh, France to London to see the to see the CGN and then go back to France, according to some people. But let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you all think? Because <laughs> all this is, is, is as if they are playing games with our mind. They are playing games with our mind. Whether you expose the person that reviewed the picture or not, the, the question that is, is still begging for answer is that, did Sinobu actually meet with the CGN? Did he? That is what Nigerians actually want to know. Let me have your thoughts in the comment section, like I say. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.